In a world searching for gleaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. Now it snowed all night, but as you can see the temperatures have actually come up pretty good. So we're going to head out early, go ahead and top off our fire. I thought we were done with winter, but obviously we weren't. Uh, what is, what are we in? We're in March now. Okay, now we should be done with winter. I think by the middle of the day, the snow will melt just like it did uh, in the last episode, but I don't think it'll come back again. Yeah, you can already see the snow is starting to fade from the rocks. Once we, once we know we're not gonna get blasted, then I'll start getting ready to put down a VCU. What I didn't want to do is go through the entire winter being able to say, ha ha, I did this. And then the last day, you know, I was like, okay, the weather's perfect. It's summer, I'm putting my VCU down and five seconds later, a blizzard comes in and I would have not survived the entire winter. So we're gonna wait a little bit. It's not gonna happen yet. It might happen this episode. If not, it's definitely gonna happen next episode. All right, let's go to the lower valley and see if we can get some good resources. I was able to step out and get some, ooh, hello, Mr. Rabbit, and get some wood in the middle of the night. It wasn't too cold. I mean, I was taking damage, but it was minor. So I shouldn't have to beat in any wood today. For all those that love watching me get wood on camera, sorry, you're just gonna have to wait. It's just, it, well, it might happen, but I'll try to do it as little as possible. You know, dole it out in little bits here and there. Ah, beautiful uh, subsistence sunrise. All right, I'm done being around the bush. I've got a problem. And this is my chance to rant, so I'm gonna rant. I am so sick and tired of people buying this game, playing it for a few hours, and oh, well, this is stupid. The, the, the game doesn't work right. It, it should do this, or it should be more like this game, or it should be more like that game, and why not this, and why not that, and I get killed too often by wolves. It's like, oh my god. Hello? No one ever said the game was easy. Even on easy, the game isn't easy. And oh, here's a classic post. I played every I played every survival game that, you know ever out there, and I've never played on easy. And I'm not going to start now. And guess what? If you watch this video and you have a problem with me saying that, I don't care. Honestly, don't even bother posting. I'm not going to delete your post, and I'll even respond to your post. But don't bother posting because I really don't care. This isn't like any other survival. Well, there are other survival games that are near to this. But subsistence is its own thing. So you can't compare it to, oh, this game is this and this game is that. I mean, I've done that in some respects. I mean, I've said there are things I would like to see in subsistence and there are things I, that I've seen in other games. But it's not like I'm saying, if it doesn't have this, I'm not gonna play. It's more like, hey, Cool Games, here's an idea. And he'll ask me, well, where did you see it? And I saw it in this, he's like, okay, well, that's not subsistence. And he's 100% right. It's still, but it doesn't mean that it's not an idea. I don't mind when somebody gives an idea. What I mind is when somebody buys the game, plays it for three hours, complains about some kind of glitch that no one else has ever seen and then goes on to another post of somebody else wondering hey I'm looking into this game is it worth you know is it fun to play and then says oh well yeah until you know you've played it for a few hours and then all the glitches start coming in as in don't waste your money I'm sorry that pisses the hell out of me alright that's utter bullcrap there was no glitch. If there was a glitch, very rarely, okay? Have I found problems with the game? Yes. Cold Games usually fixes it pretty quickly, 
for you know and I know there's the uh, the everybody's gonna say well what about the sickness and multiplayer and that's been going on for six months and you're right 100% I am not discounting that but it's also a niche niche problem that is very hard to replicate replicate where we think it's coming from right now is i mean my personal opinion watching other people post about it is when somebody logs out of a multiplayer game infected that when everybody else logs in everybody is then infected now i have personally asked people to invite me to in a multiplayer world hey we just got infected when we log in and I'm like, okay, invite me, you know, invite me, invite me. I want to get infected so that I have the logs of it. I'll record it so that, you know, I can show to the cold games. This is what happens because it's next to impossible to replicate. And just the other day, somebody posted in our discord in an area they're not supposed to post a link to the YouTube video that talks about the uh, the cheat engine for this game. Of course, I deleted it, but if it's that rampant, and I've had people, I mean, there's people openly admitting, oh yeah, I cheat, so what? And to a point, you know, I get it. They have, you can play the, it's a solo player game, when it's, and what, except when it's not. And if you want to ruin the experience, my own personal opinion, it's ruining the experience, and cheat, go right ahead. Don't complain about it. Don't understand that there are going to be bugs and errors that the cheat engine will introduce to the game. And that's on you for using the cheat engine. But don't go out there and complain, oh, the, this sucks because this doesn't do this, or my trees are floating, or my weapons auto switching to the hatchet or something. I'm to the point now, I think that person was just cheating. And it introduced some kind of bug. Because I personally started up several different profiles just to try to make sure that there wasn't some, some sort of um, bug that I hadn't seen because I don't want to call somebody and you know call somebody out and saying you don't know what you're talking about you're dumb which I try not to do it that way but you know what I mean and before I say no there's no bug I go and test it out just to make sure that the last update didn't introduce something that I didn't know about like okay here's a bug for you that I personally found and you guys saw me do it and I got pissed um, I started a new profile and I had the free ammo. You get the first nine rounds or whatever. Uh, seven, yeah, nine. I think it's nine total. And you you guys know I tend not to use my weapon. The nine mil, except when I'm being stupid and hunting deer. There, are you happy? And, but I tend not to use my nine mil for anything, especially in the first few days. But then when I do decide to use my nine mil, you know, it, I'll, I use it very sparingly, not to waste ammo. Well, I ended up being stupid and going after a wolf just because the wolf was giving me a hard time and I, I shouldn't have done it. it. It's what cost me my death. The only death I've had on this world so far, just being stupid. But when I got back to my body, all my ammo was gone. Now I went back and checked the video. I had a good stack. Okay, it better be rain and not another, uh, that better not be thunderstorm, uh, thunder snow, damn it. And I went back and checked. I had a good stack of ammo, and what I should have lost was one third of it. And what happened is I lost all of it. We had the same kind of problem with the bandages, where you had that free bandage, and then the bandages that you craft get dropped on top of those, uh, that one bandage and then all of a sudden when you uh, when you die you lose all the bandages instead of just one third and there's a problem with the fact that you're not supposed to be able to keep the free gear that's issued to you after you die and I notified Cole Games of it and he looked into it and goes oh thanks I'll have a fix in the net you know I'll have a hot fix out 
and I think he's fixed it or it's been fixed so that the next time there's an update, it'll be fixed. That's a problem with the game. That's, you know, an error in coding or the coding was correct. It just, it had an unintended effect. That's fine. If you want to complain about that, I'm all for you because, you know, I'd rather find the problems than, uh, then stick my head in, the, head in the sand and say, no, 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 I'm not listening to them. And at least get them fixed. Cold Games usually gets on those things quickly. He doesn't always put a hot fix out unless it's something that's major and causing issues for a lot of people. Let's go back here. Let's go eat. Ah, oh, there's a cloth. Someone was looking for cloth the other day, and I'm like, go hunt rabbits. And the first thing comes back is, I killed a rabbit, didn't get caught. I'm kind of sitting there going, do you expect every rabbit to give it? I mean, it's very rare. I don't can't remember the last time I butchered a... Hold on. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I butchered a rabbit and didn't get caught. I guess it can happen. But I don't remember it. Oh, man, look at all those apples. Remember what I was like... I have to save the apples. The apples are the only thing that's going to save me in the uh, with the coming winter. I even had, you know, I made extra room in this uh, in this chest so I could dump all my gear. So when I when I was going to die in the middle of the night, I had some place to to chuck my stuff off so I didn't lose it all. Never happened. Oh, oh, look at this canteen. It warmed up enough, and it's no longer snow. Uh, this morning before I headed out, that was snow. So it will melt. Snow will melt in the canteen once the weather warms up. All right, something else I learned finally. It only happened. It, it didn't matter that I was it was sitting within uh, a few feet of a fire and should have been warm enough to melt the snow. It had to wait until winter was no longer in, in effect and the, the temperatures had risen enough. And I'm guessing it really wasn't temperatures or some kind of flag where the game says it's no longer winter. There should be no more snow. So the snow packed canteen turns into dirty water. Okay. All right. I was, I was wondering if I was going to have, you know, a canteen full of snow that lasted all summer. I guess not. Ooh, ooh moose. Hmm, what level or moose are you there, good sir? Uh, level three moose with 315 health. Uh, no and no. Just no. <laughs> Not even. So today I'm just kind of looking for whatever. I'm, my rant's over. I've, I've said what I need, what I think needs to be said. Oh, there's another deer. Let me take out my 9 mil and attempt to shoot the deer. Someone's complaining about my 9 mil usage. When do I stop trying? When, when do I learn not to hunt deer with 9 mil? And they're right. My, my cheeky response was, when I make a rifle. I don't really need, I've got three rabbits. I really don't need to waste an uh, arrows on the deer. If I hit it, more likely not going to kill it, even with a headshot. Now the chicken I'll go after. That's a, oh, come, stop it. I was about to say, you're a feather. That equals two arrows. And bears are back. No more white wolves. We have bears again. I think the white wolves are, are more useful. Bears are one of the useless mobs in the game, in my opinion. They don't give enough when you kill them. I mean, the bears should have like a, a multiplier. If I kill a wolf and then I kill a bear and they both give me the same amount, I'd rather go after the wolf. It's a lot less scary. Two chickens, I'm gonna drop them down here. I'm not finding a lot of gear this. Oh, is that that same level three moose or was there another one nearby? 
Unfortunately, it's not rutting season, so I'm not afraid of them as long as I don't do damage to them. Ooh. I'll go this way. I'll follow the moose. I'm really not chasing you, moose, just so you know. But I haven't been up on this part of the map the entire winter. Okay, alright, I know Mother Nature you want to uh, show your dominance, okay, but do we really have to have a blizzard followed by torrential rains? I do like all the blue flowers that have come out though. That looks pretty cool, fields of blue. Level one wolf, I'll skirt him. Oh, be quiet. Oh, level three bear, I'm shooting this way. I think I'm gonna piss something off and they're gonna chase after me, but this was the safe line. Something's chasing me. Bear. Still chasing me. Come on, you can let go at any point now. Nope, still following. That's okay, I've got an entire rock to use. Don't need it, he stopped. Good. I wasn't too worried. My stamina is doing really good right now, so. It's just so nice to be out and about and not actually be losing my food buff and my health buff for stamina and for my, it just sucked. I mean, I could survive the cold, but I wasn't thriving. I mean, literally, I was barely hanging on and every time I would go out and get cold, I'd lose all the benefit from all the food I'd eaten the day before. That really sucked. Ooh. Another shotgun shell, that's nice. I ended up surviving the winter without needing all those shotgun shells, but I'm still not sorry about making them because the shotgun really saved my bacon several times. Come on, stop any time, rabbit. I'm trying to build up my cloth supplies. Speaking of that, I need to start building up on my uh, ores too. We're gonna go by the house. Top off, drop off, and probably go hit ore rock. I wanna see if, uh, if there's any ores over the, the top of that. Oh, and um, I spoke to the person who's doing the map surveys. Let them know that my uh, my views on the map wasn't a personal attack. I, it's it's not that I'm saying don't go vote on the on there. If you want to vote, go ahead. Um, and he had the same he had the same reaction was. It's a solo game, and if you want to call all those areas, whatever you want to call them. Eh, good mature attitude, I like that. Very rare these days in video games to find somebody with an actual mature attitude. I'm happy to see it. And like I said, if there's if somebody comes up with a really funny name for something, like Llama Lake, or the North Lake. That's that's a cute name. It does look like a, like a llama. Oh God, another wolf. That's okay. The bear's okay, as long as the bear's not gonna drop, because the bear will come down and attack. If he becomes a problem, I'll just run out, shoot him once and then run away. He'll chase after me, and that'll give me a chance to, uh... Sounds like he's sitting right over the top of me and just sitting there. Which I'm okay with. Bop! 
bye bye. <laughs> He's full on chasing me again. He just dropped down from the rock. Man, there's two crates. This bear is pissing me off. Swipe. That was stupid, I know, but I was in a bad mood. There's two boxes. The stupid bear, ooh, nice amount of fat. I'll give it that. Still not worth it. Before I forget, hands. And I think there might be something odd about people getting sick. I've seen a lot of people talking about getting sick when they're AFK. So I'm gonna start doing some testing on that to make sure there's, uh, to see if there's some kind of bug that if you sit AFK too long, that you get sick. I've never seen it, but I will, I will do some testing just to make sure. Uh, no, I think I'll leave you alone this time around. We got enough, got a lot of small game in my inventory right now. All right, sweet. A few orders up here. Great thing about living on top or under the rock as I used to live on this one is all the ores you can find. I don't remember finding too many on the inside, on the side walls sometimes. I really think that the, the game calculates where to place a resource or a bag based on straight up from uh, straight up in the air that if there's a clear spot that it could drop you know the resource what I mean by that oh I need to repair my bosun too is ah see here I can this one works stand on top look straight up there's an open there's open air to this so it spawned here But I have, uh, I've never gone in here and found an ore sitting on this side of the rock. It's only been like on this piece right here, the part here that jaunts out, and then of course the side over here. And I know that I've never seen a, uh, a crate or a bag under the water but I have had um, you know like a walkway that I put over the water I've had boxes spawning on they normally wouldn't spawn in that area because there's not a solid uh, you know until they you know they're gonna hit the water before they hit the ground underneath so nothing would spawn there but if you build something on top then something can spawn there. So I think that's how the game looks at it and why I've never seen a, an ore node on the inside of the uh, of ore rock, just on the outside of it. Now the things that can spawn in the water um, spawn in all different kind of ways, but the ones that aren't, you know, coded to not spawn under the water, they'll show up if they're, you know, if there's, you know, a rock See, that's weird too because I've seen ores under the water spawning on the sides. I'm trying to think, but I think there's, I think every time I've seen it, there's been a clear, uh, a clear view to the sky. Now in the cave, it, it would there's some other type of coating because the crystal and the um, the charcoal, the coal nodes spawn correctly and they don't have clear view to the sky. Okay, see this right here, this ore node, am I being followed now? This ore node just kind of blows the whole thing I was talking about out of the water because that doesn't have a, cl a clear view to the sky. It's actually blocked. So I have no clue what I'm talking about and nobody should ever listen to me when they if they're trying to learn th something about this game, because obviously I don't know anything that I'm talking about. 
I just love how I'm like, hey, this is how I think this works, and da 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 da, and then I walk like a few more feet, and there's something that like points out that I, you know, I'm completely wrong in my uh, opinion of what I, I think is happening. Actually, should I keep? Nah, I don't think I'll be able to gather the right resources before it's spoiled. So, used to be able to use spoiled meat to. Um, make a uh, an antidote, but now you actually have to have the real stuff. It can't be spoiled. Which makes sense. Um, I'm gonna get the parts out of them. I think they're gonna go bad before... I'll leave them in here. I may or may not actually eat them. I might let them just turn into waste for now. I mean, it's not waste. I have I have a crafting recipe that I won't be actually speaking of that. Swap back over to my splint and store that for that uh, heat pack. Um, let's go and eat an apple, and I'll drink from this one. Now that the, the winter's gone and going outside isn't such a problem, I'm a lot more relaxed about uh, what I'm keeping on me and uh, like always topping off the canteens. It's also the fact that I'm lazy and there's not an easy source of water nearby. I actually have to go to a pond or a lake to actually get water. So there was a benefit to all the snow around. I mean, that was a nice part uh, of having the snow. I didn't have to worry about getting water, but. Also that it's a good idea. If you know that winter is almost over and you want to get the, uh, and if you have any empty canteens, fill them with snow. And even if you don't get a chance to actually boil them, they will eventually turn into dirty water for you. Or worst case scenario, you just boil them and it turns to clean water. Either way. Yeah, I decided to come back over and check Ore Rock one more time real quick. Uh, bust on this one. I mean, I was just over here. But, I mean, stuff pops in. It's all random when it, when it pops in. So there was a chance. Let me come up. Let me check over here real quick. All right. Since the uh, the weather's good, and I and we are in March, so I think that I can safely say that I survived the winter. I am going to start working on building my base out then, and we might actually have a build episode next episode. I don't know if it'll be completely build, but. We shall see. I don't know where you are. You must be up there. Aha! I saw him drop off. I'm trying to decide where I want to put my BCU. I'm going to have a BCU under my base. It's the sacrificial, if you want to uh, attack my base, attack here, placement. <coughs> oh, darn it. A little bit too far. I need to be careful about that. And let me see if I can get up here. I can get up there a little bit, but not completely. Alright. Oh, that's m that's my character. Uh, I was like, I'm hearing something walking. What the F? I shouldn't hear anything walking in this world. Actually, no, not there. Uh, put it on my 9 mil.
I'm gonna click in. Oh, don't do this to me. That was my idea. Okay, this is gonna get annoying really quickly. That pop off. I think we're done for the day. I think wolves are gonna be an issue for now. Don't piss me off. You know what? Run away. Stupid wolf. Alright guys and gals, I'm just going to go ahead and call this episode here. I've been Critical, this has been Subsistence on Season 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.